Welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And it's Bolo Day. We give you some of the highlights over the last week of various sales over on eBay. We tell you what sold, why they sold, how they sold, even things that are look like they're missing heads can sell. Who knows? Crazy, crazy week. Uh, man dresses the back, gets my press. Take it away, Mr. Magazine. So we've seen our G.I. Joe bolos in the past. Yes, we they, have. They've been broken. They still go for 10 20 30 bucks. Well, Star Wars, not so much. Unfortunately, they're harder to repair. They don't have those little um, rubber bands and so forth. So, oh, right. So don't get fooled. If you see these out there at the garage sale and you got to pay a buck or two bucks a piece, you probably won't make a whole lot of money unless you get some rare figures. This was a basic lot with some missing heads and so forth, and only went for about uh, nineteen dollars. So for how many items? Ten. So a couple two bucks, bucks a piece. piece so, yeah. yeah. So don't get fooled. Um, you know, if we broke them up individually, might have gotten five bucks on the stormtrooper. It seems to be the only one there, but it's extremely yellowed. But, yeah. But uh, just to give you a little food for thought there. Why didn't you call them battle damaged? That would have been well. I didn't list it. And <laughs> my list was probably not that creative. So moving on. Everyone knows the Dukes of Hazard and the General Lee. Um, these are pretty common, but yeah. they're in good shape. I had a set of four. It took a while. Let's see, what did it take? Uh, about a year. And it sold for 40 bucks, 10 bucks a piece. So you know, if you can pick them up for a few bucks, even maybe even three, four bucks, it's still probably worth it. Now, can you sell the General Lee again? or You can. You just don't mention it. I think you just say Dukes, Dukes of Hazard. Dodge Charger. So oh, but they're not catching the. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, if you put the in the keyword, yeah, I, don't, I think you're good. Yeah, just I would just avoid that. It might slide through, but I wouldn't take a chance. Right. Next up, Corgi Junior Superman U.S. Oh, van, nice. uh, 164 scale, 45 bucks, still unopened. Pretty cool piece. Looks to be fairly high grade too. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah, and it uh, it took a while to sell too, though, almost two years. So yeah. we we had that one growing up. That's it. Correct. All right, next up, New York Magazine, September 74, Michael Kramer, oh, wow. Samuels, went for 40 bucks. Uh, it took four years, but still, I will wait four years for 40 bucks any day of the week. How about you? Uh, well, given that I've waited about <laughs> 15 years for $8, yeah, yeah, I think I would. Yeah. So it's a good title anyways, good yeah. magazine. They're going to go for 15, 20 bucks minimum, even, you know. If you want to move them out, you can price them at that, yeah. Exactly. All right, next up for me, Goro, Mortal Kombat, vintage 1994 figure. This one for 38 bucks. It's pretty cool. Um, you can't miss it if you see it out there. No, Unopened, no, Unopened, it's probably $100 plus if it's mint unopened. So, wow. Yeah, Mortal, any, any Mortal Kombat figure is going to be good from, you're talking 30 years ago, video game stuff is hot, and this was a video game. Right, nice. Next up, Nick Van Owen, Jurassic Park, Lost World, Kenner. Oh, oh. We've been making a killing on these figures. Oh. I, I think I bought, gosh, 60 of them. A lot of duplicates. This was the rarest of the rare. We only had a couple of these, but uh, this one for $314. I cannot argue with that. Hopefully they paid for it so I can take my money and run. That, that is obviously a rough, a tough figure yeah, out yeah. there. Was he, like, short printed in the boxes? Or? He must have been because when I have five or six of all the other figures which are, that are 50 to $75 and only one of this one, something's wow. up. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Crazy. Tina Louise, extras autograph oh, yeah. cut. Uh, 8 by 11 photo comes with this cut. So here's a photo unsigned, and then there's a cut. And I'm happy with 50 bucks all day long on that one. Right. No. She was from... Uh, Gilligan's Island. Gilligan's Island, there you go. She was the movie star. You got that right. Next up, Bausch, Leia, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, Kenner, Vintage 83 figure, uh, 25 bucks. And again, if you find these, this one's probably VG shaped. There's some wear in the hands and so forth, but not bad. Missing the staff. Still one for 25 So if you can find these for 5 bucks anywhere, I would pick them up for sure. If they're complete. No, he's going to say, unless they're missing arms. In, or in good condition, definitely pick these up. So obviously we separated the good from the bad when we lotted these out. And it paid off. Nice. Nice. Yeah. You take them both, and there you have. You got it. Um, then you have the Span Magazine. You've ever, have you ever had Span Ooh, Magazine? Not, but uh, Audrey Hepburn, very cool. June 1967, Audrey Hepburn. John oh. Steinbeck, China, uh, after Mao. So it was pretty much a loaded issue. I had a lot of people asking about it right after I listed it. They were trying to buy it cheap. Um, wow. I let yeah. it go to bid. It went fifty-two dollars a bid. I think I started at forty-eight because I just said I kind of think this is a better I, I magazine. Think, I mean, that could be cheap if you if you just start out higher. Who knows? Someone could have bid on it. Where are they right. going to find? Where are they going to find it? Yeah, I've it never could be seen a hundred-dollar magazine. magazine if you, you know if you wanted a long tail. Sure. Right. Right. Yep. Cool. Um, paid a couple bucks for it, so happy to move that one on out. Sure. 
Happy to move this out. Do you remember this? This was an item of the week. Oh, yes. A, year, a couple yeah. of years ago. Um, yeah. Somebody had this put together. It was... It's uh, a little do, cheap, but hey, still do, cool. Do check the uh, live shows out if you haven't already. Um, we have an item of the week every week, 7.30 p.m. Eastern on Wednesdays. Uh, Moody Blues, July 2nd, 2010, Toledo, Ohio concert photos. So somebody got all of their photos and they used an online service. I forget the name of it now, but an online service to put everything together into a, a book to remember it by. And uh, I got $38 for it. I'm happy with that. Again, I paid a dollar for it. Yeah, so cool. And it, I mean, it is one of a kind, yeah. but the other side of it is you got to find somebody that wants it. It did go right. overseas, by the way. So it was an overseas buyer that wanted it. Uh, up next... The Campus Pencil Tablet Dress Parade West Point Cadets Vintage um, Unused Paper Tablet. I think I lead the league in uh, unused paper tablet sales. Yeah, um, so. The person that bought this actually has a bed and breakfast right near West Point. Hmm. And they said they are going to put this and uh, like put it up in the cabinet right when people walk in. Hmm. So it's going to a good home for, uh, you know, that, that makes me feel good about that too. That, hey, you know, so it's going to be on display. Yeah. And people, I should have said, can you put... Purchase from paper going on there, so everybody that goes in can see that. Like and subscribe. Exactly. Ah, I missed out. I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it in my old age. Uh, Modern Jeweler Magazine. Have you ever had that, Mr. Magazine? I have not. Surprised me it actually took four years to sell. Hmm. I can't imagine it's a common magazine by any means whatsoever. No, definitely not. Uh, Joyce Chirot, Lucida, Diamond, Milk Punch, Yum Yum. I just had that the other day for dinner. Only hurts when it's coming out. Uh, $21.20 on that Modern Jeweler magazine. Uh, up next, Lost Paradise. Except, look how they spelled paradise. So with a paradise. You know, yeah. Paradise. yeah. I actually bought it at Allentown for a dollar, thinking it was a miniature book because people like the miniature books. Then when yeah. I got it home and looked at it, I said, there's something inside of this. Hmm. And sure enough, it's a way to hide four dice if you want to do so. Uh, it went for $28. I'm I'm happy with that sale because I paid a dollar for it over at Allentown. I'll buy that for a dollar. Yes, you will. Uh, not for me, though. Uh, Space Agent in the Isle of, Isles of Fire by Angus McVicker. I actually took a chance on this. I was at an estate sale, and they wanted $5 on it. Hmm. And it's X library and I was like, I don't know, five bucks, X library, five bucks. Yeah, you know, something, what the heck, I'll buy it. Um, went for 64 bucks. Wow. Uh, happy with that there. Uh, and again, a lot of people would have shied away from it just because it was X library. Sure. Um, I took the chance on it with that. Um, and very important, yep, right there, X library with library binding and markings. Um, makes you want it to be worth if it, or like a real copy, not a library copy. With a dust jacket. With, oh, gosh, yep, exactly. It'd be worth, worth more than Plus Products Catalog 1973, Los Angeles Vitamins Nutrition Pet Supplements. Uh, I took $15 on this, but it just goes to show eBay is pretty much anything will sell on it. Um, you had a retail store. How long would it take for this to sell out of your retail store? Um, eternity. <laughs> exactly. And I got $15 for it over on eBay. So very, very happy about that. And that's something other we need to remember. I know a lot of people are down on eBay regularly, and we're, we're no exception. But it gives you the opportunity to sell something like this that you just yeah. never, ever, ever would have sold any other, any other way. Sure. And finally, Baked Products by Cooper's Bakery Advertising Napkin from Leacock, Pennsylvania, $21 for a napkin. One napkin? Yeah. Wow, that's highway robbery. <laughs> if you got, if you have chicken wing juice. Free shipping. Well, you yeah, have given stuff away. If you have chicken wing sauce on your fingers, yeah. that napkin's priceless, I'll have you know. True, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask you the retail store question again, Mr. Magazine. Never. I haven't even asked it yet. I know the answer is never or eternity. <laughs> Um, so yeah, $21 for a napkin probably sold to somebody or other who worked there, their family owned it, they lived in the town and remembered it, whatever the or reason is. Or just named Cooper. Could be named Cooper. Uh, could be named Leacock. Who knows? Whatever the reason is, they thought that this was a good deal, and I agree with them because, as Mr. Magazine has said any number of times, where else you gonna find it? Uh, definitely do appreciate you stopping on by. 
Hopefully it opens your eyes a little as to what's uh, possible out on eBay. I know Mr. Magazine is never throwing away a napkin again. And uh, hit the like button if you could. And we'll see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.